I spent every day of my life, from whether I was a size 14 to a size zero, every single day waking up, looking in the mirror, and hating what I saw. And that first day where I woke up and I looked in the mirror and I was like, yeah, that's an amazing, that, that is the feeling that we all need. It's hard to be a woman today. We are under such extreme pressure. It doesn't need to be this way. It really doesn't need to be this way. And I, f I feel like I've lost so much of my youth, you know, just hating myself and, and succumbing to this pressure. And all I want to do is help women learn to love themselves, you know. So I grew up really overweight and bullied in school. And then when I was 13, I halved my weight. The second that I, I dropped all this weight, I got scouted as a model. I saw how my life changed so drastically when all that really changed was a number on a scale. I went through everything that I could that could help me conform to the standard of beauty that I was told from full-blown anorexia to bulimia to addiction to laxatives to diuretics, to drugs, cigarettes. In 2000, early 2015, I just had a complete meltdown. And then I asked for some time off where I went to my family's house in Thailand. Uh, and I just wanted to reset. You know, I, I, I would drive past the local Thai boxing gym. You'd see the little eight-year-old Thai boys being groomed to become fighters. They're going through six hours a day of the most brutal training in the world, and they're happy and they're loving it. I don't know, I just saw it and I thought, that looks fun. <laughs> if they can do it, I can do it, you know? I mean, I was drawn to Muay Thai visually. I think it's beautiful. I think it's like a, a dance, it's like a ballet. The fact that it's two people standing in front of each other and they just go at it, but in the most respectful way. So yeah, I started training every day and then twice a day and then a 10 day vacation turned into me living there for nine months. I moved into the gym. I lived and breathed and ate like all the other fighters did. I watched my body change, but I not only watched it change, I watched it change and I was loving it. I've always been criticized about my thighs and my hips, and now my thighs are my biggest attribute to my fighting. And I came back to New York and basically said to the industry, this is me, and this is the woman that we should be having in our magazines and on billboards and as a role model. Because I've been that 14 year old girl that's looking in the magazine and wondering why the hell don't I look like that? And I am the girl in the magazine. We're miserable day in and day out. I spent 27 years miserable. And it, it truly upsets me because if I could speak to the 13 year old me, Oh, I would let her know that everything is going to be fine and I would let her know that tomorrow she needs to wake up and she needs to feel happy because life's too short. Honestly, I wish that I'd found martial arts and Muay Thai at a younger age. But I think it would have helped me uh, fight some of these demons a little earlier on and kind of nip it in the bud, you know. But it all happened for a reason. <laughs>